Integration by parts 4. Today we're going to prove the reduction formula. Integral sine to the nx dx is equal to negative 1 over n cos x sine to the power of n minus 1x plus n minus 1 over n integral sine to the n minus 2x dx. All right, let's reduce the exponent by 1. So we write this as sine to the power of n minus 1x sine x dx. We'll let this part be u and dv is sine x dx. Let's write that down. u is equal to sine to the n minus 1x du taking the derivative of this, applying the power rule and the chain rule that's n minus 1 sine to the n minus 2x times derivative of sine x that's cos x dx. This part is dv. dv is equal to sine x dx and v. Let's anti differentiate both sides. Integral sine x is negative cos x. Now let's apply the formula u times v is minus cos x sine to the n minus 1x minus integral v that's negative cos x times du that's n minus 1 sine of n minus 2x cos x dx and this is i is equal to so let's clean this up we get minus cos x sine to the n minus 1x minus times minus is plus let's pull out the n minus 1 integral cos x times cos x that gives us cos squared x sine to the n minus 2x dx so now we're going to use a trig identity and rewrite cos squared x cos squared x is equal to 1 minus sine squared x. Let's substitute that in. We get i is equal to minus cos x sine to the n minus 1x plus n minus 1 integral cos squared x is 1 minus sine squared x times sine to the n minus 2x dx. Okay, let's multiply this through and simplify. i is equal to minus cos x sine of n minus 1x plus n minus 1 splitting up these two integrals n minus 1 integral sine of n minus 2x um, dx minus n minus 1 and sine squared x times sine to the power of n minus 2x will give us um, integral sine to the nx dx. But it's at this point that we realize this is exactly what we're looking for integral of sine to the nx dx. This is a recursive nature of the problem. So let me call this i. This allows us to bring it to the left hand side. So we get i plus n minus 1 i is equal to minus cos x sine to the n minus 1 x plus n minus 1 integral sine of n minus 2x dx. Okay, um, now if we simplify this, we will obtain 
um, you can see here we have i plus n minus 1i. So if you expand this, all you have is ni equals all of this. So let's rewrite that. We have ni is equal to minus cos x sine to the power of n minus 1x plus n minus 1 integral sine of n minus 2x dx. Okay, let's divide by n both sides. Divide by n. Divide by n. And we obtain i is equal to minus 1 over n cos x sine to the n minus 1x plus n minus 1 divided by n integral sine of n minus 2x dx. Now let's not forget what I represented. This is the integral sine to the nx dx. Let's rewrite this side. We get negative 1 over n cos x sine n minus 1x plus n minus 1 over n integral sine of n minus 2x dx. This reduction formula can be used to solve integrals of this type, integral sine to the 10x dx or integral sine to the 8x dx or say integral to the power of sine uh, 4x dx. We're going to solve, um, we're going to apply the reduction formula to solve integral sine to the 6x dx. So all we do is plug in n equals 6 into this formula. Integral sine to the 6x dx is equal to negative 1 over 6 cos x sine to the 5x plus 6 minus 1 is 5 over 6 integral sine of 4x dx. And we obtain this. Now we reapply the formula for n equals 4. Integral sine to the 4th x dx is equal to negative 1 over 4 cos x sine cubed x plus 4 minus 1 is 3 over 4 integral sine uh, squared x dx. Let's reapply the formula for integral sine squared x dx. So we plug in n equals 2 into the formula. Integral sine squared x dx is equal to negative 1 over 2 cos x sine to the 1x plus 1 over 2 integral sine to the 0x dx. But that's just 1. And when you integrate 1 dx, we get x. Now, let's put it all together. Integral of sine to the 6x dx is equal to negative 1 over 6 cos x sine to the 5x plus 5 over 6 times negative 1 over 4 cos x sine cubed x plus 3 over 4 times negative 1 half cos x sine x plus x over 2 close bracket close bracket plus c. When we simplify this, remove all the brackets, we'll obtain this. Um, integral sine to the 6x dx is negative 1 over 6 cos x sine to the 5x minus 5 over 24 cos x times sine cubed x minus 15 over 48 cos x sine x plus 15 over 48 times x plus constant of integration c. See you next time.